How have you been? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. We're Good. at the NAMM show talking to Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Now, first, I saw you playing earlier. Tell us about the Lick of the Day. Well, the Lick of the Day app is uh, an application you can download for your iPhone or your iPad. Uh, it's offered up by Guitar World magazine. It's really cool. Uh, you download the app for free, and then you subscribe to it, and then you get uh, a huge uh, database of some of the greatest guitar players doing videos of how they play what they play. So uh, for a fan uh, or for an up-and-coming guitar player or somebody who's just trying to learn how to play guitar, it's a, a huge tool for them to learn you know, different licks and, and different parts of different songs by some of the greatest guitar players in the world. And how long have you been involved with this? Well, I did it. I actually uh, did a couple of licks of the day uh, a few months ago when I was passing through New York, and I went to the Guitar World Studios, uh, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And uh, you know, since then, I mean, they've had so many people that have done it. I mean, I was looking at the app just the other day, and so many great guitar players showing how to play what they play. You know, and it's I mean, when I was growing up learning how to play guitar, I didn't have access to stuff like that. So. Uh, it's amazing what technology has to offer these young kids nowadays. Yeah, and it's a good format to be at the NAMM show and do the whole guitar war and all that stuff too. Yeah. Now you know, as being a guitar player, since you were young growing up, now who were your influences for you? Well, obviously everybody from B.B. King to Muddy Waters to Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix, you know, and uh, I mean, I love to play the blues and, and blues-based music is what I love to do best. and. Uh, you know, but uh, some of the greatest guitar players in the world have been influenced what I do. But to me, those guys are old school blues players. Hubert Sumlin, Albert King, B.B. King, Albert Collins, Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker, all those guys are, are the people that inspired me to play. Wow, that's incredible. Now, I read somewhere that you met Stevie Ray Vaughan mm -hmm. when you were seven years old. Yeah. So what was that like? It was amazing. Uh, you know, that was the, a life altering experience for me because I got to see him play when I was seven. And from that moment forward, all I wanted to do was learn how to play guitar. And uh, I've been doing it ever since, and uh, you know he's been a big inspiration to me. And you know people like him and the people that came before him are the people that made it possible for somebody like myself to do what I do. So you got to give credit where credit is due. Well, that's amazing. Now you're going to be on the new Ringo Stars. Yeah. Can yep. You tell us about it. Well, that was a huge honor. He asked me to play on that. Obviously, you know one of the Beatles, one of the greatest musicians ever. Uh, and a great person too, by the way. And uh, you know, I don't know which songs I played on two songs. I don't know if they both went on the record or just one of them. But it's just a real honor, and I, I'm just so proud to be a part of it. That's yeah, great. Now you got touring plans coming up. Yeah, well, we we're kicking off our 2012 tour this Saturday, mm -hmm. and we're going on the Re legendary Rhythm and Blues cruise uh, for the next week, and then we're going to be out basically all of 2012. We're going to Australia. We're going to Europe. We're going to be all over the U.S. Uh, supporting our new record that came out last August. The name of the album is called How I Go. Now, what do you know when you'll be, be in the L.A. area? Uh, not yet, but uh, we'll be here this year. Uh, we just don't have anything confirmed yet, but I would say probably, you know, the second half of the year. Second half of the year? Okay. Now, Laura Bob, are there any artists out today that you admire? I mean, there's lots of people making great music. I mean, if you want to talk about pop music, you know, I, I'm not a big pop person, but I think that girl Adele is really talented. She's got a lot of soul in her voice. I like stuff with soul and, and people that really put their heart in their music. Uh, but, you know, if you're talking about blues, there's lots of talented people, uh, guys that I know like Derek Trucks and, you know, Joe Bonamassa is good, Johnny Lang is good. There's another guy named Matt Schofield who is uh, over from the U.K., but just a great guitar player. Uh, really talented guy. We'll have to look him up. I used to work with Derek Trucks at EMI. Oh, yeah, right on. Yeah, yeah, he's such an underrated player. He's awesome. Yeah, man. I'm fine. Now, so any dream collaborations you have? Well, you know, we're talking about doing some collaborations for the next record, so we're trying to put some of that stuff, uh, you know, get the ball rolling with some of that. And maybe, you know, we'll be surprised if you might be surprised at who we uh, have guests on the next record. Come up with yeah. any, any, any side things in the funk world or rap world? Well, not so, right now. I'm just really focusing on doing my thing, you know, and trying to just further that and grow that and uh, get as much music out there for my fans as possible, keep putting out new stuff, keep the fans engaged in what we're doing. That'd be fantastic. And lastly, what would you like to send your fans in watching the interview? Well, you know, you can come check me out, KennyWayneShepherd.net, KWSBand.com. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, very active on that, so you can follow along and see what kind of stuff we're up to and get a look behind the scenes of what we do. That'd be great. Can you play a little 10 minutes, second? Or oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs>
Thank you so much. It's an honor talking to you. Thank you.